Welcome everybody to Ignite. We have a busy schedule and we have exactly five minutes per talk, so we're going to start right now because it is exactly 12.30. The first speaker is uh, Annie Fetter. Annie Fetter has worked at the Math Forum since before there was a Math Forum. She has a BA in Mathematics and Music and is apparently still certified to teach in Pennsylvania. She started the Geometry Problem of the Week in 1993. She was a classmate of Nick Jakiv at Swarthmore and an expert facilitator for Geometer Sketchpad. And her last Ignite talk, Ever Wonder What You Notice, has been watched over 12,000 times on YouTube. So in 2000, the Math Forum got a grant to work with an amazing group of teachers to write a video paper about encouraging mathematical thinking uh, through discourse. And that sounds really fascinating, right? It's something we're even talking about today. Um, and you can still go watch it on our site, but that's actually not what I'm going to talk about today. So I want to talk about this math problem that we did when we were together as a group. Right? Now, you guys are all mathematicians. I see some of you reaching for your pencil and paper already. You're starting to do math. You're thinking about how you might tackle the problem. You're thinking about how you might approach it with your students. Um, I'm actually curious about whether some of you are thinking about what sorts of tools would you use to explore the problem. Um, because I want to talk about what happened when we did it in our group. Right. So one small group of people pulled out pencil and paper predictably and they started sketching things and making calculations. Um, and that's how I like to start problems. It helps me get organized. I'm very paper centric. Another group got out there graphing calculators and they wrote some equations and they made tables and they graphed things and who knows what all else over there at that side of the room. Uh, yet another group got out their laptops and uh, the laptop implementation looks a lot like the graphing calculator in that they wrote formulas to explore the relationships and they probably graphed some things. They could look at the different aspects of it. I got out my laptop as well, but I didn't use the spreadsheet. What I did was I fired up Geometer Sketchpad. And because I like pictures, this is how I think about math. I like things to look, I can figure out the numbers later if it turns out that that will be important. All right. But the question is, and another thing that you might have noticed, and pictures are really cool and it's color and it's really big, one thing that you might have noticed is that all of the groups who used an electronic tool actually explored the general case of the constant area rectangle, not just the problem in the, uh, the, the particular problem. And I even explored the constant area perimeter because it was so easy. So now, whose way was right, right? Which group picked the best tool? Which group was the most strategic in the way that they approached the problem? Now, obviously, or I hope obviously, the answer is none of them. Right? We all picked a tool that we knew how to use really well and that we knew would support the thinking that we want to do. So what are we doing in the classroom to make sure that we're giving students those same opportunities to make those choices and to really understand how to use technology to support their mathematical thinking? Now, the Common Core actually thinks that maybe this is something important that we should be doing. Um, and so one of the standards for mathematical practice is use appropriate tools strategically so what, what would that actually look like? We could read it, but we're not going to because that's too small. Um, but let's look at a couple parts of it. So one, students will make choices from available tools. For one, this implies that they actually have multiple tools available to them. Okay? Um, there are lots of different tools that they could use, including some of the ones that we use to explore the cylinder problem. And are we having conversations about why and when you might use a particular tool to support a particular kind of thinking? And then the holy grail, are we actually using those tools to help students deepen their conceptual understanding, or are we just cranking out answers? All right. So we don't all have a lot of technology in our classrooms, but are we actually taking advantage of the tools that we have? If we've just got pencil and paper, or we're just teaching people what sequences to push on a graphing calculator, we're not really thinking about it. There's a lot of technology available. Spreadsheets run on tablets, laptops, phones, uh, probably smartwatches by now, though I'm not keeping up with that particular part. Right? There, um, there are other things we can use. So uh, dynamic geometry tools such as Sketchpad or Cabri or GeoGebra, they allow us to define relationships and to explore things in big, wide screen color, and they move, which is a really important part of mathematics, the idea that math should move. Tools like Desmos are making math social. 
So there, there, people are talking about, there's buzz around math and around uh, mathematical images, and some students really get encouraged by that. Right? Now, we can't all have all the technology we want, but the fact of the matter is, Kids actually own a lot of technology. When I was in high school and college, I owned this calculator. I still own this calculator, all right? Um, but the phone that I have in my pocket can do everything that that calculator could do, and more, and in color, and I can pinch and zoom. I can do graphing calculators, calculators. I can do things like Desmos on my phone, or I even have access to uh, answer engines like Wolfram Alpha. So are we really making sure that kids get a chance. They can do conceptual understanding with pencil and paper, there's no question. But many more students will do it if they have access to a wide range of tools. And we need to make sure that we are doing everything we can to help make that happen. Thank you.